I can do it. Performance anxiety, man. Hi, I'm Matthew from Matthew's Mind. This is my friend. This is my friend Ashton. Hey. He's trying to make himself burp again. Shut up. <laughs> and today we are going to be talking about what are we talking about? Crappy horrible, teachers. Horrible teachers. Horrible teachers that do not teachers. either teach or just they're just bad. So let's get started. So Matthew, who's the worst teacher that you've ever had? Like what grade? Oh. How about you, Ashton? You're not allowed to say it. I forgot. I forgot. Miss Love. Oh my God. <laughs> That's me! I'm the bird guy! <laughs> <laughs> this is my <Matthew. laughs> uh, What grade was it when you had the worst teacher ever? It, you know, I would say sophomore year. Sophomore. But also, I have one from each year of 6th, 7th, and 8th grade that I just did not like. I would have to say mine right now. Mm, I have a really bad teacher. Miss Bruh. Bruh. Miss Bruh sucks. Anyway, how about you, Ashton? Miss... Mm-hmm, and Molly, both daughter and wife, <laughs> daughter and wife, daughter. mother and daughter, they're both exactly the same people. You don't even have her mom. Right. You don't even have her mom. I, no, I had her in focus, and she sucked. I hated her so much. That doesn't count. Yes, it does. It should. No, it doesn't. She taught our class. Look. The daughter didn't even do it. Just think back to the worst day you've ever had in her class. Seventh grade. Seventh grade. All Seventh right. grade, my English teacher. We'll call her Miss Hobag. Miss Hobag. Actually, there were two teachers there in seventh grade I didn't like. We'll call one Miss Hobag and one uh, Miss Slutface. I hate that. <clears throat> Mrs. Hobag was my English teacher. Mrs. Slutface was my math teacher. Oh, Mrs. Slutface didn't know how to teach what a crap. I had math first period of the day. Ew. Every single day, it was just like, she would put notes on the board, you would write them down, and she would give you an assignment, and that was it. She never taught. She never, she never said, oh, this is how you do this. If you ask for help, too bad. So she was just like, she didn't teach. Yeah, that's, she didn't teach. That's, that's what she was. Yeah, she didn't teach. She and she seemed like she didn't care about anything, ever. She somehow got married a couple years later, but whatever. Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> so now she's Mr. and Mrs. Slutface. But, uh, oh, Miss Hobag. Okay, Miss Hobag. They're living happily ever after, as we speak. I feel like Miss Hobag was quite sexist. I don't think that she likes dudes very much, which is totally okay. I had a teacher like that freshman year also. She was one of those teachers that, like, every she just responded hatefully to people. Ugh. Like... She never seemed to like anyone, you know. Not even the girls? Yeah, like no one, but like even less so guys. And if you talked like at all, you were just constantly under scrutiny. And it was bad. I just screw you, Miss Hobag. I don't like that. Screw you, Miss Hobag. How about you? I haven't really had a lot of bad teachers. It's mostly, you know, there's a couple hot teachers, you know. <laughs> okay, I'm tell us admit. about a hot teacher then. Uh, my sixth grade English teacher. Uh, no. <laughs> oh, okay. Sixth grade English teacher, seventh grade science teacher, and eighth grade science teacher. You just you like all the older women. Mm -hmm. Nice. My sister has her. Now. My sister has her now. Is she still hot? I mean, maybe. Definitely. She's not old. Ninth grade. Um, this thing's loose. I didn't have one. Tenth grade. I didn't have. No. Oh, tenth grade. That was my algebra horrible, teacher. Matthew. I hope it didn't hear me. And it then eleventh grade. Cut it, cut it. I don't have one. So. You don't have any hot teachers now, so you're sad? A little bit. I <laughs> don't have any hot teachers, but Miss Bruss sucks, like, a lot. She, she teaches a college level um, chemistry class. And she's just horrible, you know? I mean, you would think that. Her teaching it for over like five or six years, she would learn something herself. But no. That awkward moment when that Miss Bro's daughter watches your thing. She doesn't exactly watch it. Who you're talking about? She's, she doesn't watch these though. And I hope to God she doesn't watch it until I get to college. Oh my God! Okay, there we go. <laughs> man crushes. Oh, oh, oh. Man so crushes. I have a man crush, crush on Neil Patrick Harris, and that that's no, that's understandable. Everybody's hot. Brendan Urie. Mm. And you got the disco. Also hot. Also hot. Not gay. No, but he's a good looking uh, guy. Who, who, plays, hot. who plays a uh, hot guy? Jeremy Renner? Yeah. You think Jeremy Renner's hot? I think he's, he's a pretty, pretty dude. Man. He's a pretty dude. 
Hey two viewers, how are you? Alright, well that was this week's Matthew's Mind. Thanks for watching. This is Matthew Jenkins, signing off.